Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we have my boxy charm. Let's get into it and check it out. We got the email letting us know that Ipsy had their new boxes for the boxy charm box. And I have to tell you, I knew when we were getting the old boxes, they were just running through the old Ipsy stock. But I have to tell you, since they are sticking to the fact that this box is the BoxyCharm box, I was very surprised <laughs> when we got the new box and it still says Ipsy. I, it, make it make sense. <laughs> I can't, it doesn't matter. I have had, since they switched over, I think three months now, I have had three great BoxyCharm. So, we're hoping that holds. I kind of know what's in here because in theory, I picked three of the products and I feel like I did mine makeup heavy, but I don't remember exactly what I chose. When we open it up, this is what I have inside. Let's just get right into it. Oh look, it's a little newspaper looking one, smaller than the one that we got in our X and now our Icon box, but it's made of that same paper, kind of made to look like a magazine. I never have any luck with the products that I choose being in here, but that's kind of fun. Let's see what it says. <laughs> Let's see what it actually says. Boxy Charm, The Great Escape. Play dress up, unplug for a bit, passport to glam, all kinds of things. Power picks, we've got the news, there's a sale, the edit, Smashbox. I actually looked at the edit, that was over in the sale, but it was mostly things I don't use or didn't need, so I did the responsible thing that thing and took a pass. Have my iPad up and ready so we will have all of the information that we need. First out of the box we have Tea Time. This is actually one of the products that they chose for me. It is from Byro and it's an English breakfast tea treatment essence. They picked it for me but I believe that I went in at the time and looked at it and I can use it and it's such a lovely bottle. Look how pretty that is that I do remember it said shake it up too. <laughs> Good for me. I never remember the shake it up part. You're gonna have to forgive. It looks like it's going right in a storm. My lighting, I have my ring light. I'm also using this big window off the back of my house. So it is nearly 100 degrees outside and just too hot to tape upstairs. Okay, let's see what they tell us about this. This has an $84 value. I didn't give you any of the deets. This is a $28 box. I believe we pay $2 shipping, so it's actually a $30 box. I will put the information down below with a link over to Ipsy. I am in no way affiliated with Ipsy. I purchased my own boxes, so just FYI. 120 ml, and they consider it a toner. Want your skin to feel like it just had its morning cuppa English breakfast tea? This restoring treatment essence is filled to the brim with black tea, pro vitamin B5, squalene, and kombucha and provide your complexion with tons of skin loving nutrients and enzymes. Shake the formula to combine both layers and then gently press onto your cleansed face and neck with your palms. Is it squalene or squalene? Let's talk amongst ourselves down below. I can never decide. It's got a nice cover on it. Like I said, I read the ingredients and I think I can actually use it. So I'm pretty excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. It's just kind of a milky cream. Why is it suddenly so dark in here? I'm gonna move that light closer as soon as we're done with this. Oh my, oh, roses. Did it say roses? Let me look at the ingredients and I'll see why to me it smells rosy, but it does. It seems to be dissipating. In all fairness, it does seem to be dissipating, but the initial hit to me was absolutely roses and it made my palms so soft. Oh my goodness. Let's see what happens when it dries down. Let me check out the ingredients real quick and move my light rise. I hope that helped. I have been away for a minute or two fixing my lighting and it's left my hand. I wouldn't want my hands to feel like this. I'm not sure how I feel about my face feeling like this. It's somewhere between maybe coated and I hope that picked up that sound. It kind of feels like that and yet somehow also a little greasy. And you can see, can you see on the lid? Can I get it? I hope I can get it. Oh, perfect, perfect. It has my fingerprints. So there's something in here that is a little greasy. I will try this, absolutely, I will try this on my face. And if I don't love it, I will pass it along for someone that I love to try, but still an awesome product to try. $84 in a $30 box. Awesome. Your second choice for me, and I'm anxious to see how this goes. I find it a good sign that my entire box is not coated. We, everybody that got this in their box, 
got an email from Ipsy. It's a Natasha Denona palette, by the way. It is the Fez palette. We got an email saying, look, <laughs> they're all broken. They seem to have broken in the shipping. They told us how to repress it and to let them know if it was, and they'd give us some kind of credit, but I had to wait until I could do my unboxing. I don't think mine is broken, broken. It looks like it wanted to come loose in here. It's this color that everybody had broken, but it's still together. Oh my goodness. I count myself one of the lucky ones because almost everybody has said theirs is broken. You can see at the top, it has sh absolutely shifted down. I don't know what will happen when I touch it. I might as well go ahead and swatch this because I can't pass it along because I couldn't ship it. It would break in shipping. So I'm going to work from darkest to lightest. They are so creamy. I love the Natasha Denona formulas, but there was something about this brown one that just did not hold up to the shipping. Not to mention, we didn't, I didn't have any packaging. So there was nothing to protect it at all. I'm touching the brown. I, I almost want to say it wasn't an Ipsy problem because mine, I just touched it to get the swatch and it didn't move at all which means it, it settled like that when it was made. So I don't think that the fact that it was breaking was Ipsy's fault. I think it was a Natasha Denona issue. Also, what they did is they gave us a 25% off to anything you wanted to buy at the Natasha Denona site, which I thought was a little odd because it was like, come spend money and we'll give you some off, but not until then. But yeah, I would say this was a Natasha Denona issue, not an Ipsy issue. Let's watch these. The her formulas are fantastic. These colors are not perfect for me. I will probably see if my daughter likes them. She has a little more warmth to her skin tone than I do, but they are very pretty. I do love the Natasha Denona palettes. The paperwork on the palette says it has a $48 value and it's inspired by nature's powerful elements. This collection of desert browns and deep blues is the perfect palette to create stunning eye looks. The blend of five calming shades can be mixed and matched for a peaceful summer moment, whether you want to blend in or stand out, which is funny because to me, I think this palette screams fall. <laughs> Just my personal opinion. Next out of the box, we have the Shayna B Beach Babe. I think this is a cream bronzer. <sighs> I am not great with creams and I have another one in here. We'll get into that in a minute, but I thought you know what, I'm just gonna keep doing it <laughs> till I get good at it. And I know that a lot of people like them in summer, but I prefer them in winter when I'm dry and I want a little bit of cream in there. So I went ahead and ordered this. That's what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, <laughs> that's what that looks like. I meant to do this video bare face because I knew I had a lot of makeup in here, but I decided to tape it with so many others. Sometimes when I work out of a box, it, doesn't come together as perfectly as I'd like. This says it is five grams full-sized. Everything in this box will be full-sized. Has a $23 value and it says the Ultra Velvety Cream Bronzer brings warmth to your skin in just a few swipes. It's long lasting, applies easily, and blends quickly for a seamless finish. So you look glowy and sun-kissed, never patchy. I'm, I'm doing my own pretty good job of glowy this summer with uh, everything I have going on, but that is what it looks, oh, that might be workable. I was afraid looking at that, it was gonna be super dark, but I think I can work with that. Let's see if it builds. I mean, this is the color they picked for me, knowing my profile. So if you had a darker skin, hopefully you would have gotten a darker highlighter. But yeah, that is really creamy. It feels really satiny, velvety. It doesn't feel like, you know, sometimes when you use a cream blush or something like that, it leaves your skin, especially now that the oils are in as blushes, it leaves your skin feeling tacky. This, no, this is already dried down. It feels lovely. Yeah, I will absolutely be trying that. That is awesome. I love a new find. Next out, to go with it in the same vein, I got the Lucky Chick Lip and Cheek Tint, and it's a multi-stick. I got it in Lucky Days. That is what that looks like. Kind of went for a creamy makeup vibe in this one. Trying to embrace the summer feels. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I can see that it would absolutely work as a lip or a cheek for me. We'll put it right here. I'll put it right next to the bronzer. I went back and forth several times with that. Let's see how it blends out. 
It feels very creamy also. It's blending in really well. I can't tell completely with the lighting, but I feel like I would have to build that. But let's see. It, very much like the bronzer, feels like it's kind of melting into my skin and drying down. I love that. The paperwork says it has a $20 value and I knew I was choosing lower dollar value. I think I might have the photos of my choices. If I do, we'll cover that at the end. But for me, it doesn't make any sense to pick skincare with a higher dollar value that I can't use. Personally, I prefer to try the makeup. Who doesn't want that just back from vacation glow all year round? This ultra lightweight formula glides onto the skin like a dream and melts in for a long lasting radiant flush of pink color. It's super blendable and allows you to go from subtle glow to vibrant pop while nourishing ingredients like rosehip seed oil, jojoba oil, and shea butter help keep your skin soft and happy and it did it felt really really nice going in so that's it and the bronzer together that might make a really nice face last out of my regular products and i do do the boost but we'll cover that last i have a sweet street candy paint shimmer lip gloss and i chose it in comet that is what that looks like in its box it has also a 20 dollars value this is full-sized 5 ml that is what it looks like out it's very cute. I will swatch it on the back of my hand. I'm sure if I don't like it, one of my girls will like it as long as it's not too dark. I'm gonna, oh, it's almost sheer. Oh, but you can see the shiny in it. I hope that comes across. I put it way over there to keep it away from the blush and the highlighter. That was not a great choice. Let me see if I can do this better. <laughs> nope. She's not as bendy as she used to be but it's got a nice flush to it. And in person, I can absolutely see the kind of gold flake to it. But yeah, that is really, really pretty. The paperwork says this pinky brown lip gloss is all you need to add some oomph to your look. Formulated with pearlescent pigments, it gives your lips a voluptuous, juicy shine without any tacky feel. Whether you wear it alone or as a shimmery top coat, your lips will be the star of the show. Let me see, I forgot to check and see if I had a scent. Yeah, it's maybe fruity. Definitely not candy, but maybe a little fruity. It's very nice. And last out of the box, this is my Boost. I don't think you can just go in and sign up for Boost anymore. I think you have to go in and get on the wait list. And once you're on the wait list, I think it takes a couple of months. What the Boost is, the Boost is a product that comes with your Ipsy box. It's an additional $15. I think it's always a great product. This one doesn't work great for me because it's First Day Beauty and I can't use any of the First Day Beauty because it all has licorice in it, but none of the other ones really spoke to me either. And I know that you guys love First Day Beauty. So honestly, I kept this one in my box because I'm putting together another giveaway. So this is the 10% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. It's safe for sensitive skin. <laughs> sensitive skin. I could not use this even if it weren't for the licorice thing. I couldn't use a brightening serum. It's not sealed so I will go ahead and show you the bottle because it is kind of cool looking. It's that with the twisty type. You put it right back down because I am going to slide that into a giveaway but let me tell you a little about it. This has a $50 value. It is 1.7 ounces full-sized. It's a serum and it says want to glow without all the drama. This 10% vitamin C serum is here to brighten and visibly firm your skin minus all the irritation, clogged pores, or funky smells that you usually get from vitamin C. Packed with the power of vitamin C, vitamin E, and squalene, this serum will help you achieve a radiant complexion, reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and keep your skin soft, hydrated, and protected. That is my full BoxyCharm that came in the new BoxyCharm box. <laughs> and in this box, I received the Biro English Tea Toner and the Natasha Denona Palette. Those are the two items that they chose for me. I chose the Sweet Street Lippy, the Shayna B Cream Bronzer, and the Lucky Chick blush. I also do the boost, and this month's boost was the Vitamin C Serum from First Aid Beauty. So that was my box this month. Let me see if I have in pictures what I had to choose between. I do actually, I did keep the pictures. The Sweet Street, I could have chosen this. There was a Pomelo and Company Matcha Magic Hair Mask, a Pure Lease Beauty Dragon Fruit and Niacinamide Exfoliating Face Polish, the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask, that's what I'm saying. These are some excellent skincare products that I'm sure had more value than this. Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment and the Skin Ink My Daily Dose of Vitamin A, B, and C. And I chose this. 
My second product, I chose the Shayna B Cream Bronzer. I could have chosen the Ace Beauté Seal It Makeup Setting Spray, the Glowiest Sweet Dreams Collagen Glow Gold Eye Masks, the Ahava 24 Karat Gold Mineral Mud Mask, the Formula Z Cosmetics Unisexy Setting Spray. They wanted me to have a setting spray this month. And the Well People Revitalizing Dew Snow Mushroom Eye Gel Cream. So there was a lot of skincare in here. I just chose to go with the makeup. I don't seem to have screen capped what my third choice was. I guess I missed that. But with Beauty Boost, they do assign you one. But if you don't like it when you get to the bottom of your, so to speak, customization, they have other choices you can make. I kept this, but I could have changed it to the JLo Beauty That Blockbuster Hydrating Cream, the Dr. Brandt Skincare Oil to Foam Cleanser, the Dr. Brandt Skincare Needles No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel, the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel, or the Ona New York firming serum. So there were even great choices within that. I just know how much you guys tend to love the first aid beauty. Thank you so much for coming by. That was my boxy charm. Let me know if you loved your boxy charm. I will use or try all of my actual boxy charm pieces. Again, this is like the second month in a row that I've said I will try all of my products. So that works really great. And because of that for me, I will say that the transfer over from boxy to ipsy has absolutely worked. I know some of you guys ride the fence about it, but it's been working for me so far. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. Please like subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. Take care guys. Have a great evening.